with Maglia Rosa. Changing hands nine times, the 99th Giro d'Italia will go down in history as one of the most spectacular Grand Tours in recent memory. Vincenzo Nibali won the Giro d'Italia for the second time and the Grand Tour for the fourth time on home soil. You need to watch here at Cycling Right Now to find out how we accomplished it, or we could say he became the king of Giro d'Italia. Let's find out. Vincenzo Nibali made the fortuitous announcement that he would be retiring at the end of the season on the same day as the Giro d'Italia travelled to his hometown of Messina. When Felix Lowy thinks back in the career of a great champion, he concludes that the dawn of Italian racing should probably hang up his bike shoes and head off into the sunset. The future is already written on the wall and it has been for some time. Vincenzo Nibali has been riding on borrowed time for a few seasons now. It has been three years since his last victory, which was the same year that he finished in second place in the 2019 Giro d'Italia. It was somewhat symbolic that just hours after Nibali had been inadvertently elevated to Astana's leader following the sudden withdrawal of teammate Miguel Angel Lopez on Tuesday, the Italian veteran found himself in difficulty on the slopes of Mount Etna. This will be Nibali's 11th and final Giro d'Italia and his unplanned push for the general classification in what will be his final Giro d'Italia is over before it even gets started. That should in no way bring you embarrassment. It was always a big ask to expect a push for pink from a rider who hasn't finished higher than 7th place in a stage in any of his previous four Grand Tours and who hasn't been a GC factor since that surprise 2nd place behind Richard Carapaz in the 2019 race. It was always a big ask to expect a push for a pink from a rider who hasn't finished higher than 7th place in a stage in any of his previous four Grand Tours. Just 14 months earlier came what might have been the crowning moment of Nibali's career, a solo victory in Milan's San Remo after a pulverizing attack up the Poggio. This victory was made even more special because its architect was somewhat more readily associated with topping the podiums of cycling's major stage races. The year before that iconic triumph in La Primavera came his equally emblematic second solo win in Il Lombardia. He was one of those unusual types of riders, seen so seldom in our contemporary period, capable of winning a significant number of monuments and grand tours. Nibali selected the fifth stage in his hometown of Messina on Wednesday to confront the issue that has been hanging over him since he lost more than four minutes in the general classification when riding through the volcanic lava plains of Etna less than 24 hours earlier. As he attempts to hold back his emotions while speaking on Rai, he remarked, It's a sad day for me and my family. I've been waiting for a very long time for this moment to arrive. It's my hometown and the place from whence I launched my career. I'd want to let everyone know that this will be the final stage of the Giro since it means a lot to me. There was a lot of emotion travelling here into Messina, my home, my family and my friends. The 37-year-old said further, I put in a lot of effort and put in a lot of hours during my career, but I feel that this season is a good time to call it quits. Nibali is one of just seven riders to win all three Grand Tours. His victories include the Vuelta a España in 2010 and the Tour de France in 2013, which came on each side of his two Giro d'Italia victories in 2013 and 2016. In the course of a career that has lasted three decades, Nibali has also achieved the titles of twice national champion, two-time winner of the Tirreno, Adriatico and Il Lombardia, winner of Milan Sam Remo and winner of the stage of the Grand Tour on 14 separate occasions. Not bad for a cyclist whose career got its start in the shadows of riders like Ivan Basso and Danilo Di Luca and Alessandro Petacci. As soon as his declaration was announced, accolades began pouring in, the most notable of which came from Bahrain Victorious, the team in whose colours Nibali won the historic San Remo race in 2018. Nibali's most recent victory on the grand stage of the Tour de France was also achieved while he was riding for Bahrain Victorious, which proved to be a profitable period for him. Nibali would finish 1 hour and 37 minutes behind a lowly 39th that year, which was his worst tour performance by a considerable margin. However, the so-called Shark of Messina saved face with a trademark mountaintop win in Val Thorens on the penultimate day of the race. This victory occurred on the day before the final stage of the race. That encapsulated who he was, a dogged rider who never gave up and who was always capable of the spectacular even at his most ordinary while performing much below the heights that he expected himself to achieve. Nibali's career enjoyed a sustained period of success between the years 2009 and 2017, during which he placed in the top 10 of 10 consecutive Grand Tours, during which he won four of cycling's most prestigious stage races, and during which he finished on the podium six other times throughout 15 appearances. 
Nibali will be forever remembered as the exciting live wire who stalled Chris Froome's reign at the top of the scintillating tour win in 2014. During that tour, he won four masterful stages and put in a barnstorming display over the muddy Arenberg cobbles that went down in cycling folklore. For all of those fans who couldn't stand the suffocating Team Sky years, Nibali will be forever remembered as the exciting live wire who stalled. Who could forget, meanwhile, that spectacular ride up and over the Colle del Agnello to join his dear teammate Michael Scarponi two years later when Nibali triumphed in Risol on his way to reversing a nearly five-minute deficit only two days from the finish? Who could forget that? Nibali's years of triumph during his first stint at Astana are now contrasted with his current situation, which sees him back with the same team but in a completely different roles. There have been reports that some of the team's riders have not been paid their salary, there are continuous problems with the fragile Lopez, and the team has only won two races so far this year. Thus, it is the ideal time for Nibali to cut his losses and abandon the sinking ship. He indeed had the opportunity to place himself in the store window by utilizing his unmatched record in conjunction with the Giro victory to obtain another year on the World Tour. When the legs, however, do not behave in the way that the brain wants them to, it is prudent to check out of the game. Nibali will now follow in the footsteps of Felipe Gilbert and Alejandro Valverde by retiring from the sport of cycling at the end of the year. The three riders have combined age of 118 years, and between them they have nearly won everything that was up for grabs in the sport. In what will be his 19th and last season, Nibali is unlikely to finish on the podium of the Grand Tour for the 12th time. Nibali still has a chance to win his 15th Grand Tour stage, but it will depend on whether or not one more shark assault is successful. Even if it was difficult for his supporters to witness this guy lose two minutes on Mount Etna on Tuesday, Nibali will need to suffer time losses of this nature if he wants to improve his prospects of winning his final race. After all, Nibali is someone who should not be underestimated, as was demonstrated to everyone in 2016. Therefore, you shouldn't be shocked if the apparent deterioration continues before the shark spends the last week of his life in the mountains, during which he will try to hone his teeth for the very last time. Because before the 105th Giro d'Italia reaches Verona, Nibali will be hoping for the same kind of fairy tale send off that his contemporary and fellow legend of the sport, Alberto Contador, enjoyed during his last Welter appearance in 2017. To replicate Contador's victory on the penultimate stage of the challenging Alto di Angliru, Nibali will have to ride through the Domalites and over the San Pellegrino and Vincenzo Nibali, one of seven cyclists to win all three Grand Tours, and the last Italian to win the Tour de France, allegedly announced that he will retire at the end of the season. Nibali made news for the fifth stage of the Giro d'Italia in his hometown of Messina. So guys, that's all for today's videos. If you liked the video, then give the video a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button so that you'll never miss any updates.